back out on the trails again. Right now I'm just at the bottom of this hill waiting for Christina to catch up. So I'll use the mountain bike to transport the heaviest gear. Christina's only carrying a very small backpack and I'm also carrying a small backpack as well. There's my ultralight tarp on top. Just thought I'd stop here and just show you how everything's tied onto the bike. There's the MSR dromedary, so I hang that off the handlebars. Motorcycle gloves, I'll put them on while I'm going down the mountains. It's always good to have gloves on. Topography map, I also hang on the handlebars. So as I'm riding along, I can read the map. That's in its waterproof container. And there's the touchscreen Garmin GPS with full topography maps. Um, the tent is wrapped in that blue tarp. There's the Malaysian Parang tied to the side uh, of the tent in the Kydex sheath. So I've got one thermo rest tied to the center of the frame. And there's Christina's thermo rest also tied onto the bike. Here I have my DIY saddle bag. So my little repair toolkit is underneath the seat. So there's a specific video on Bush Channel regarding how to make your own saddle bag for your uh, ultra small toolkit. So also, while I'm out here in the mountains, because we're in a remote area, uh, quite far from a sealed road, I also carry a spare tube. So there's a spare bike tube in there, just in case I get a flat. But it's highly unlikely that I will get a flat because I'm running tubeless tires. So ever since I started using tubeless tires a few years back, I've never had a flat since. There's the bike pump, uh, just ultralight little bike pump, probably only weighs 100, 110 grams. And there's three different ropes holding all the gear onto the bike. Each rope is four meters in length, so in total there's 12 meters of rope tying, uh, holding everything onto the bike, so it's wrapped around and around many times. So you really need to make sure that you tie, tie everything on really tight, particularly when you're going downhill on a rough road. And one thing that can occur is a lot of dirt will fly up off the rear tire and it can actually destroy your tent. So that part of the tent is um, re well, protected by quite a few layers of tarp and I've got this extra um, strands of red rope just holding everything in so the dirt and flying stones doesn't damage the tent. Oh, and another tip you can use out here on the trails with a mountain bike. You don't need a bike stand, I'm just using a piece of wood, just a branch off the trail as a bike stand. And here's the lovely Christina now just catching up. Sweetie, what are you carrying there? Christina's carrying a freshwater crayfish trap because hopefully we'll be catching some freshwater crayfish tonight. What do you mean? What walk now? Walking fast. This is Bush Channel Campers, oh, and on my head, some people have asked me what the hell is that helmet you're wearing, it's just a bike helmet with a Legioneers brim attachment, I'll just take it off and show you. So there's my bike helmet with this Australian designed uh, Treadley hat, Treadley is the brand name, so definitely a company I'd endorse and they're even endorsed by the Cancer Foundation of Australia just slips onto any bike helmet and can be found online at the website I think it's called treadley.com we'll put a link in the description to any and there is of course always information in the description of our bush channel videos thanks for watching this is bush channel okay. there 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 Look at them, the orange. Hey, Canvas just stopped here for a quick lunch break at this pristine creek. So for a few minutes I had the uh, freshwater crayfish trap in the, in the water. I just caught one. A little bit concerned that he's actually on the endangered species list, so we're going to put him back. There's a few uh, species of these guys that are prohibited to catch. 
Usually they kind of let go of the trap once they're in the water. There he is, let's get another little close up look at him. He's lots of little spikes on his body. Here he goes. Back home. Back into the water. So way too many people have been catching these over the years. They only have a very small amount of meat on their body, so people come out and they just catch hundreds of them. And it's rendering the species almost extinct in some areas. Very easy to catch these guys. I can, eat, I can still see him right in the water. He's right there. I bet there's just hundreds and thousands of them in this creek. If you had the trap in it late at night, you'd, you could pull in a lot of them. Here we are, campers. In the Australian bush.